alcohol funny car. We're not going to see the champ, Frank Manzo, going after his 15th crown, but we are going to see somebody kind of set that bar up high right away. It's going to be an amazing matchup right here as you get the brand new victory race car. There are the mountains. It is just breathtaking. Of course, it's nice today. Of course, yesterday was 12 degrees or whatever it was out on the racetrack. I actually had to stop racing because the racing surface got too cold. Now, Tony Bartone's center point collision car, the Rick Jackson car, that is the quickest car in this class. And they get a brand new setup. A brand new setup for the driver to get this thing off the starting line called a two-step. I don't want to get too technical, but it's a completely different way for these guys to drive the cars. Well, that's Tony Bartone's opponent, Alexis DeJoria, and we caught up with her back in the pits a little bit ago. This season has started really well for Team Patron. Uh, we've been consistently in the 550 range. Our first qualifying round, we ran a 554, which is our fastest time ever, and then a 555 and 556 in first round last night, which got me the win, luckily. And uh, we're so confident about today, and uh, thanks to Patron and my, my wonderful team and crew chiefs, and we're going to do great today. It's a great matchup simply because of the fact the opponent on the other side has been a Lucas, uh, excuse me, a full throttle nitro funny car racer. And later this year, Alexis hopes to make her debut over on the full throttle side. Tony Bartone ran last week at the Lucas Oil Race in Phoenix. Actually got a little out of shape, tagged the wall with that race car. Of course, he sponsored by a guy at the body shop, so I guess it wasn't too much of a yeah, problem to fix it. Alexis and her team went to the Victory Race Car Chassis Shop right after the finals last year. Worked on this race car to get this brand new. It is a beautiful, beautiful machine to get it ready for this event. This is going to be wacky. I told you they have a new setup in that Tony Bartone car. It's a two-step, which means he goes to the starting line, just like a pro stock or a pro mod. Stages the car, puts it flat on the floorboard, comes up, and it has a tendency to throw the other driver off in the other lane as to what they're doing staging. I think that might, might be what the case was up there on the starting line. So we're going to probably have to get a ruling there, but they rolled the car in. They will normally tell the other driver, we're going to put both lights on, and you then run accordingly. But it's a different setup. Most drivers are not used to hearing a car in the alcohol car class do that. And I think Alexis is going to get timed out, but that's a tough way for her to start eliminations here on Sunday. That was Chief Starter Rick Stewart talking over, no doubt, with Graham Light, the Senior Vice President of Racing operations as far as the elapsed time goes you see rick right there yep you timed out you got tricked out Bartone, meanwhile goes low et of the weekend 552 one it's an amazing thing because they had some problems with the opponents last week at that lucas oil race with some drivers trying to stage the drivers don't hear the guy in the other lane come up and hit the throttle those big whacks like you normally hear it and if you're not used to that you're going to think well he's not even ready to stage the car and i'm sure that's what happened right there well while we push alexis de joria back what do you say we introduce you to the newest member of our Lucas Oil drag racing crew down at the far end. Welcome, Jamie Howe. Thanks, guys. There's absolutely no confusion down here at the far end. Steve Gasparelli won his run purely off of driving. Steve, how'd you do it? Uh, just trying hard it, at our home track, just doing the best I can do. Do the best he can do. He's got another round next into the semifinals with Steve Gasparelli. I love his new car, too. Oh, it is a beautiful machine. That family's been such an integral part of this race. Like I said, for 28 consecutive years, somebody named Gasparelli has been racing an alcohol funny car here at Pomona. And how about that run once again by Bartone? 552. He went 544 here just three months ago. It stole everybody's breath there. It's yeah. a tough, tough customer. Now we still got Alexis trying to get off the racetrack. She's been on both coasts this spring, California here, but a little bit ago, she was out in Florida, catching up with the likes of Daryl Gwynn, testing in that DHL funny car you see back there. Gonna Man, make that debut. Ran a couple of low 420s, did a marvelous job, got rave reviews from every, everybody that was there watching her. She's licensed and ready to go, and hopefully later this year we'll see her pushing a little nitro through the tank. We wish Alexis DeJoy the best of luck done today, but we got more alcohol funny cars and dragsters coming for Pomona in a moment.